unlocking the secrets of yin-yang from ancient China for a magnetic life of power and riches. In the mystical revelations from ancient China known as the yin-yang forces that are behind the universe, it was found that there are two polarities in life. One, the positive force known as yang, and the other, the negative force known as yin. You will now learn how to channel these two forces of yin and yang into your own life, receiving benefits from both, so you can achieve a balanced state of existence that can give you a magnetic life of power, riches and abundance. The Force of Cosmic Magnetism Known to the Ancient Chinese Centuries before modern scientists discovered the cosmic law of magnetism, the ancient Chinese knew that there was a magnetic, invisible force in the universe that sustained all creation and which kept the planets spinning in space. Magnetism has two polarities, one positive, the other negative. The yin force is the negative polarity of magnetism, and the yang force is the positive polarity. Both are essential to the proper functioning of the visible and the invisible universe. Emerson, who was a great student of Oriental mysticism and Indian philosophy, stated, All nature is bisected by a duality. When there is a perfect balance between the yin and yang forces of the mind, there will be sanity, peace, and tranquility. This magnetic balance within your body between the forces of yin and yang will bring you perfect health and a long life. A knowledge of which foods are yin and which are yang, and their effects upon your body, will help you determine your diet for life, giving you perfect balance, helping you overcome a weight problem, and establishing a necessary balance between alkaline foods and acid foods. Now you will be shown how to apply this magnetic principle of yin-yang to your own life. If you find that you are operating too much under the influence of yin, which is the negative polarity of magnetism, you can immediately change your polarity of magnetic attraction to the positive side, and you will see instant, dramatic changes in your personality and your life experiences. What happens if your personality has too much of the yin force? If your personality has too much yin, you will be unmagnetic, and you will do the following things. 1. You will drift through life, giving in to the wishes of others and making no demands on others for your share of happiness, riches, love, and fulfillment. 2. You will give up easily when faced with challenges and obstacles that stand in your path of destiny. 3. You are apt to be self-conscious, inferior, and have feelings of inadequacy in most of your life situations. 4. You will withdraw in confusion and fear when challenged by people or difficult life situations. 5. You are apt to follow others, even when they might be wrong. You will rarely be a leader in any life situations. See how this yin quality dominated the thinking of Nazi Germany during the reign of Hitler. Germany normally is a yang nation with qualities of aggression and dominance, but through mass hypnosis, Hitler changed them into the yin qualities of submissiveness and helplessness. 6. You will see only the dark side of life and be filled with fear, worry, and anxiety. This pessimism kills magnetism. 7. You will act from emotional impulsiveness to every life situation, rather than from rationality and reason. Eight. You will be inclined to accept the destiny into which you were born and make little or no effort to change things. Build the yang force of magnetism in your personality. To build the yang force in your personality, follow these steps. 1. Don't be a drifter in life. Have a definite course in which you are going toward your goals of achievement. Make up your mind that you will achieve success in your work and build a fortune. Magnetize your brain centers with suggestions that you can and will succeed. Make your demands on people and life, asking for that which is rightfully yours. Give your subconscious mind the following Yang auto suggestions I can succeed and have fame, fortune, and fulfillment. I am a magnetic, charming person, showing a smiling, happy face and a radiant personality. I will overcome tendencies to weakness and inadequacy. 2. Build the magnetic quality of determination in your personality. This is a yang force that helps you overcome the tendency to give in to life's challenges and obstacles. 
Have a blueprint of destiny on which you write down the things you want to achieve in your life. Each day, read this list over and be determined that you will be happy, that you will have romantic fulfillment, that you will become rich and successful. This magnetic force of determination will carry you through those difficult periods when things seem to go wrong and will build psychic energy to help you overcome life's defeats and disappointments. Testimony number 44 Linda D. Used Yang qualities to win a husband at 45. Linda D. had been happily married for 25 years and had two grown children when her husband was killed in an accident. She found herself at 45 years of age, still vitally energetic and desirous of a husband and companion. During all those years, she had been content to be just a housewife, and her husband had made all the decisions, taken care of the money, and let Linda furnish him with a pleasant background in the home, caring for the children, fixing his meals, and being a completely yin type of personality, passive, submissive, and without too much drive or ambition. When she first told me that she wanted to marry again and have companionship and romance, she added quickly, I know you probably think I'm too old for that sort of thing. My kids tell me to forget it, and my friends all think I'm crazy, but I'm lonely and I don't want to spend the rest of my life living alone. I assured Linda that I believed she was right in having a desire to marry again. I then outlined a regimen, which was a complete opposite to the life she had lived. I told her, you must go out more. Join a church group or a social club where there are parties and dances. Ignore the remarks of your children and your friends and make up your mind that you will find your romantic partner and marry again. Without naming it, I was actually giving Linda a yang routine of confidence and aggressiveness, which would help overcome the yin tendency to withdraw and isolate herself. The next time I saw Linda, she had made great progress. She even dressed differently, more youthfully with more makeup and a great deal more confidence. She told me she had joined a class in square dancing that a local social club had started. She had already met many friends and was no longer lonely and unhappy. Within a period of two months, during which I saw Linda only once more, she was as happy and excited as a young bride. She told me that she had met a man who was a widower, a very successful businessman, who was dating her, and she knew that she was in love with him. In a few more weeks, I received a wedding invitation from Linda, and when she walked down the aisle, there was an expression of joy on her face that showed me she had done the right thing. She changed her personality from yin to yang, and yet did not lose her feminine charms and appeal. How to build a magnetic personality using yang qualities. 3. To help you overcome the negative yin qualities of self-consciousness, inferiority, and inadequacy, you must begin to build a new self-image of poise, confidence, and power in your personality. These are yang qualities that will help you to achieve more magnetism and persuasiveness. To help you build a more poised and powerful personality, stand before a mirror and observe yourself for 15 minutes a day. Raise your head as though wearing a crown. Keep your spine straight and chin you up. Breathe deeply so you will charge your brain with great quantities of positive magnetism, which is a yang force. Then say to yourself or aloud the following yang statements. I was born to have a great destiny. I am divine and unlimited, not human and limited. I now take on the crown of my divine kingdom and rule of life, causing them to obey my commands. I have a divine ego and am no longer fearful, inferior and inadequate in my dealings with others. I make demands my upon life and life repays me with success. I build qualities of peace, joy, beauty, good and love, and others respond on the same wavelength of magnetism. I am in the magic circle of God's divine love and protection. I am guided to my great destiny by divine intuition. How I helped Elvis Presley with my magnetic magic circle. Early in his career, the famous rock singer Elvis Presley came to look at my home in Bel Air with the idea of leasing it for a year. The first thing he said to me was, I've heard that Howard Hughes lived in your home for a year. 
and also that Prince Rainier leased it while he was in Hollywood courting Grace Kelly. I sure would like to be able to live in a house where they lived. It was true that Howard Hughes and Prince Rainier, as well as many other world-famous celebrities, did live in my home. Prince Rainier had called it a miniature palace equal to my home in Monaco. I could see that Elvis had a sincere desire to acquire culture and elegance. Although he was then making several million dollars a year, he realized that he must acquire acculturation of the mind before he could really take his place in the movie hall of fame as a truly great star. As we walked through the house and finally came to the magnificent dining room, with its crystal chandeliers and the black and gold Regency furnishings, he stopped to admire two consoles at each end of the room, with antique mirrors over them. These swan neck consoles were several hundred years old, hand carved from Italy, and were in the rich black and gold Regency style of the rest of the dining room. Elvis paused for a moment, studying the swan necked consoles, and then he drawled I sure like them, they're ducks. I'll take the house. I tell this true story, not to disparage Elvis, but to show admiration for that quality within him that made him want to acquire a cultural veneer that later would cause him to walk with presidents and kings. In the months ahead, I came to know this sensitive young man quite well, and I had the privilege of giving him my world-famous magic circle, which I had given to more than 500 famous Hollywood stars over the years. Any feelings of inferiority that Elvis may have had due to his background and early training certainly vanished when he acquired the Yang qualities of magnetism, confidence, poise, aggressiveness, and charm. He then became the king of Hollywood. A study regime to help you build Yang qualities of magnetism. To help you acquire a strong, poised, and confident personality, it is necessary that you have a study regime which includes many different kinds of knowledge about many subjects. Acquire proficiency in speech, take a public speaking course to become more poised and fluent. Go to the library and study books on cultural subjects like art, music, literature, and poetry. Become conversant with the latest books and their authors. Know something about philosophy, psychology, and current events, as well as science and history. You will find that as you acquire more wisdom and knowledge, which are yang forces, you will banish the yin force of ignorance and become a balanced, dynamic, and magnetic person capable of attracting a great destiny. 4. One of the great yang qualities which you will want to incorporate in your new self-image is that of courage to face life's challenges and to overcome fear of people and of life. Yang meditation to help you face life's challenges. To acquire courage, give yourself this meditation treatment each day before you begin your activities. All day today I shall face life's challenges with courage and poise. I know that the law of passing time will remove all problems and obstacles, and that I shall have the power to resist fear, worry, and anxiety. I am now surrounded by the white light of God's infinite good, and I can attract only good. I was born to a great destiny, and I shall make of each experience in my life a stepping stone to greatness. The yin qualities of fear, anxiety, weak will, Passivity and vacillation often obliterate the qualities of courage, strength, aggression, and decisiveness, which are strong yang qualities in a personality. 5. To avoid the tendency to let other people make your decisions, you can develop the yang qualities of leadership and power. Allowing others to choose your vocation, decide on your gifts and talents, select your level of income, and dictate how you shall live your life is to be constantly in a state of indecision and confusion. How you can acquire the yang qualities of leadership and superiority. You can go into the inner realm and discover the unlimited horizons of the mind. Use the following meditation to give you the yang qualities of leadership, dominance, inspiration, and superiority. I now shape my thinking in the direction of leadership and power. I set high standards for achievement in the future. I consult my own psychic mind centers for the right course of action in my life. I avoid thinking mass thoughts of commonness, low standards, obscenity, vulgarity, and selfishness. I rise into the spiritual stratosphere of beauty, idealism, and good, and my actions follow suit. I become a leader, not a follower, and I aim my sights towards the noble and magnificent experiences of life. 
Testimony number 45. How a young plumber used the power of Yang to choose a new career. An example of how others can often shape our destinies was that of Harold C., who came into our studies in New York City. His father was a plumber who was making very good money. So when Harold graduated high school, his father urged him to come into the business with him. Harold tried to be interested in the business, but his mind was on other things. He loved the outdoors. He wanted to go into something connected with horticulture and farming. He spent his weekends on camping trips where he could be outdoors. He felt stifled in his work and began to work through the mystical laws he had learned in our classes to gain liberation from the work he hated. He projected a new life for himself, doing work he liked. One day his father sent him on a repair job to a place out on Long Island. It was one of the biggest greenhouses in that area, specializing in growing miniature trees, house plants, flowers, and shrubs. Harold was fascinated by the various aspects of this business. In talking to the owner, he found there was an opening in the business for another partner. As he had saved several thousand dollars, Harold decided he would buy a share in the business. His father told him he was crazy, but the young man went ahead and made his investment. He soon found that it was a thriving business and in a few months' time, returned his entire investment. But more important than the money was the fact that Harold had at last found work he was interested in. In three years, Harold had made so much money that he was able to buy a beautiful home on Long Island. He married a young lady he had met through his work a year before. They settled into his new home and are now on the way to rearing a fine family. His dreams were fulfilled because he followed his own intuition as to what his destiny was to be. How to build the yang quality of optimism in your personality. 6. Pessimism is a yin quality and optimism is a yang quality. If you habitually look on the dark side of life and are filled with fear, worry, and anxiety, these negative yin forces will neutralize your ambitions, paralyze your willpower, and short-circuit your magnetism. To treat this tendency to look on the dark side of life, use the following yang meditation. Every day I affirm that I am strong and able to meet my duties and obligations in life with hope and optimisms. I see the bright side of my situation. I have faith in myself and my great destiny. I aim at every s the stars of life and I achieve my high goals. I am cheerful and optimistic, even when things go wrong. I know that I shall be guided by my higher, intuitive mind to the fulfillment of my dreams. 7. When you act from impulsiveness to every situation in life rather than with rationality and reason, you are apt to have constant problems in your life. Confucius taught that there must be order in the mind first, and then there will be order in your environment. When you are mentally calm and orderly, you can think things through in a rational manner and avoid many of life's mistakes. How to use the Oriental System of Yin-Yang for Peace of Mind Thousands of people are emotionally breaking down today and require psychiatric treatment because they let their emotions get out of control. The Oriental system of control causes one to sit in stillness and visualize the mind like a lake. When thoughts are turbulent and confused, the surface of the lake has huge waves on it. Sit in meditation and think or say the following to overcome such emotional turbulence and disorientation. The surface of my mind is now like a still lake, reflecting the beauty of the golden sun and the blue skies. Not a ripple on the surface of my mental lake. All my thoughts are now under perfect control. My emotions are now controlled. I think thoughts of peace and my life becomes peaceful. I think thoughts of joy and my life reflect situations that bring enjoyment. I think and act in a friendly manner, and I make friends who are on the same wavelength as I am. I am now in the magic circle aura of power and poise, and my inner and outer life become peaceful, poised and powerful. I am in the driver's seat of thought, and my ship of state arrives safely in the harbor of self-realization and fulfillment. 8. Today, millions of people accept the situations into which they were born with passivity and fatalism. They believe that they cannot change things. They depend on the politicians in Washington to do their thinking for them. 
As children, we were dependent on our parents for guidance. As we mature, we are supposed to do our own thinking and act out the pattern of destiny we consciously select. No person need be limited by circumstances of birth, lack of education, or economic conditions. Even during the Depression of the 30s, some people became millionaires. Since World War II, there have been more than 25,000 new millionaires in this country. Yang Meditation to Help You Acquire Riches and Fulfillment of Destiny To overcome the inertia of failure, limitation, and poverty, give yourself the following meditation for riches and fulfillment of destiny. I now affirm that I am a thinking, creative being, capable of creating the destiny I desire. I wish to rise above the limited plane of consciousness that keeps me tied to failure, frustration, and poverty. I now invoke the mental law of alchemy that can turn my thoughts into the shimmering gold of reality. I ask my bigger mind to guide me to the finding of my true destiny. I desire an overall goal of half a million dollars or more to furnish my family and myself with financial security for the rest of our lives. I ask for the release of gifts and talents that will cause me to rise above the limitations of my present environment. I wish to become famous, powerful, and rich. I shall use my money intelligently to improve the world and benefit humanity. The yin-yang foods for health and long life. There are certain foods that are acid and others that are alkaline in their effect on the body. The ancients called these two types of food yin and yang. They advocated a diet in which there were 75% of alkaline or yang foods and only 25% of acid or yin foods. Following are the yin and yang foods that are the most important in diet. Most vegetables and fruits fall into the yang classification. Most meats and dairy products fall into the yin classification. After checking this list, you can easily determine into which category other foods fall. A. Yin foods. Cakes and pies. Sugar, white sugar. White bread and white flour. Ice cream and most. Sugar made desserts red blooded meats. Beef, pork, steaks. Milk and milk. Products, cheese eggs. Salt, spices, catsup. Vinegar. Coffee, tea, alcohol. Yang foods. Whole grains, brown rice. White rice, brown rice is brown sugar, more yang than yin. Honey breads made with. Whole wheat or other fresh whole grains. Fish and fowl are part yin and part yang. Natural herbs, herb. Teas, fruits, and vegetables of all kinds. Many Orientals are vegetarians, as meat is scarce. But those who follow this yin yang diet eat only 25% of meats and other yin foods, and the other 75% of the diet consists of yang foods, which are vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. Eggs are often eaten as a source of protein, and milk is used widely, but these are both yin foods and should be taken in moderation. Now, with our modern knowledge of cholesterol, we know that meat, eggs, and milk in large quantities contain too much of this substance and should be restricted in a diet. As citrus fruits and juices are yang foods, they can be taken in small daily amounts with great benefits to a balanced diet. Honey, fruits, dates, and figs can be substituted for ice cream, cakes, and pies. Vegetable juices of all kinds are yang in nature and can be taken in moderate amounts daily. It is obvious that all yin foods cannot be cut out, for the diet would then be unbalanced. Therefore, Good judgment must be used to maintain the 25% balance of yin foods with the 75% of yang foods. In this way, you can even become a vegetarian and substitute eggs, nuts, and protein vegetables. Brown rice has much protein for meats and still obtains sufficient protein to keep the body in good health. Mistomatic pointers 1. Each day, Make it a point to emphasize the positive qualities that make you magnetic and persuasive. These qualities are optimism, cheerfulness, hope, faith, good, joy, and love. 
2. Maintain a mental balance by refusing to react too emotionally to life stresses and strains. 3. Build vast storehouses of wisdom and knowledge by studying throughout your life. Knowledge is yang and gives you great magnetism. 4. Overcome the debilitating forces of fear, worry, hate, revenge, jealousy, and greed. These are yin forces that short-circuit your brain and body magnetism. 5. Express the yang emotion of love daily in your contacts with others and show tolerance for their weaknesses and understanding of their shortcomings. 6. Have a positive mental attitude towards life and people. Try to see the best side of every situation, not the bad side. 7. Use positive words in your contacts with others and refrain from being critical, sarcastic, and negative in your remarks. 8. Act with confidence and poise in every situation. The world admires a confident person who knows what he wants in life. 9. Have high ideals and standards and avoid being vulgar, obscene, and common in your speech and actions. 10. Have a balance of the masculine and feminine qualities in your personality, rather than being overly masculine or overly feminine.